Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be doing my drugstore favorites. I already did my MAC and my high-end favorites, so if you're interested in watching those videos, I'm going to link them down below. And without any more delay, let's get started. Starting off with primer, I heard Nikki Tutorials talk about this and I was so fascinated by the idea of using an aftershave balm as a primer, so I had to try it for myself. And this is the Nivea Aftershave Balm in Sensitive. It's meant for men, but why not, you know? Why not use it as a primer? It's actually a very good idea considering it has glycerin in it, and glycerin makes your makeup stick. Or basically anything is stick to it. Since the day I got this product, I've been using it non-stop. It is really amazing, and I'm actually amazed that it works. I'm fascinated by it. Considering the amount of product that comes in this bottle and the price, it is totally worth checking out. I can never find a good foundation at the drugstore that matches my skin tone. It's such a struggle, so usually I get a bunch of BB creams. The first ones I got were the Maybelline BB creams. I have the standard version and also the one meant for oily skin. Since I have oily skin, I thought it would be a good idea to try both of them. I noticed that they're a little bit different. The blue one, which is meant for oily skin, has a matte formula. So when you apply it, it gives a very matte finish. It is quite moisturizing and it is a little bit more thick than the regular version. The regular version is dewy finish and very sheer. Keep that in mind, it's barely gonna give you any coverage, but if you're going for a super natural makeup look, sometimes a sheer foundation or BB cream could be a good idea. My next product can be a bit different depending on your skin tone. It's actually a bronzer to me, but for some of you, I'm sure it's gonna be perfect as a highlighter. It is the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Peach Glow. This is so beautiful, it gives that super natural glow to your face. It doesn't have like chunks of glitter in it. It gives a little sheen, you know what I mean? It's not too orange, but it's not too brown either. It is actually a beautiful product. I've tried using this as a highlighter and it's too dark for my skin tone. It doesn't work, but if you are four shades darker than I am, I'm sure you can pull it off beautifully. Lately, I've been obsessed with getting blushes and trying different blushes, so I have two favorites. One of them is a cream product, it's the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Pink Frosting. It is number 10. When you look at it, don't be scared, it is very intense and it looks so pigmented and glittery and I know how that can be a little intimidating sometimes. When you apply it with a dual fiber brush or even with your fingers, it gives such a natural look to your skin. It actually looks like skin, it doesn't look like you have some product on and the glitter is nothing dramatic. My next one is for all the girls out there that are too scared to experiment with cream products. It is a regular powder blush. This is the Sleek Makeup in Antique. I am obsessed with this blush. It is such a beautiful, mauve natural color. It also has a lot of glitter in it. It does not come on to your skin as glitter. It looks like glow, so it's not super intense or crazy. Just be careful when you apply it because it is super pigmented, so you need to be really gentle or you will look like a clown. Trust me, uh, I'm speaking from my own experience with this product. A great dupe for the MAC Paint Pots, in my opinion, are the Maybelline Color Tattoos. They are phenomenal. I have only two colors, but I do plan on expanding my collection as soon as possible. Mine are called Pomegranate Punk and Bed to the Bronze. Like the name says, one of them is pomegranate and the other one is bronzy. I adore how pigmented and creamy this product is. It's so metallic and versatile. I can use this as an eyeliner. I can use it also as an eyeshadow base on their own. I've even seen people using them to highlight and contour. Of course, the colors I own are not meant to use it as a highlighter and contour unless do you like a Halloween makeup? Cause it's gonna look crazy. But overall, I think this product is incredible. I have mine for almost a year now or even a year. 
and they are still so creamy. My favorite eyeshadow palette is the Sleek Makeup Ultra Matte Sweet Tooth Darts and it comes with 12 matte shades that are so perfect for an everyday look or even when you want to take your makeup to the next level and go really colorful and creative. These shadows have an amazing color payoff and their durability is outstanding. If you love drugstore makeup as much as I do, you know how difficult it is to find great matte eyeshadows. And honestly, these are incredible. The black shadow that comes with it, it's called Noir and it is as pigmented as Blackout from Urban Decay. Now, one of my favorite things in the world, pigments. These are from Makeup Geek. One of them is called Liquid Gold, which is a beautiful yellowish gold. It's super pigmented, you don't even need primer. I also have Insomnia, which is my favorite. It is a duochrome, it has teal and brown in it. Finally, Utopia, which is an antique color. It has chunks of glitter in it, so you will need some glitter glue or a very sticky primer because you will have a massive fallout. Moving on to eyeliner, this is my favorite pencil for the waterline. I love wearing black on my waterline. This is one of my go-to products. It's very pigmented and it actually stays on my waterline. And I'm saying this because I have the most watery eyes. This is the Maybelline The Colossal Mascara. It is freaking amazing. I'm sure you've seen people talk about this. It is one of those holy grail products. I love that it gives volume and length to my eyelashes and it also separates them. Finally, to my last item, the lipstick. I have it on right now. It is actually a liquid lipstick from Sleek Makeup. It's called birthday suit and it is such a stunning dusty rose. The only thing about liquid lipsticks is the fact that after some hours it starts to wear off on the inside so it makes a really weird line especially when you have a very dark color on but with nudes and pinks you can always get away with it. Overall I think this is an amazing product. I love mixing it with other colors and also with lip pencils and normal lipsticks. That's it! Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I love how pigmented, creamy... I love how... I adore how pigmented and creamy these... I love... My favorite eyeshadow palette is the Made. It is a duochrome. It has teal and brown in it. Oi.